Welcome, foolish mortals, to the Maxic Kingdom. I'm your ghost host, Max Lezebnik. With the new Haunted Mansion film coming up soon, I was dying to create the special trivia for all of you happy haunts. And please, if you like my videos, kindly press that like button, leave a comment, click that subscribe button, and click that bell icon. Thank you. Now, as they say, look alive. There's a little matter I forgot to mention. This is trivia about Disneyland's Haunted Mansion. The mansion's exterior was built in 1963, six years before the ride opened. It was initially intended to be a walkthrough attraction, but it was put on hold for Walt's involvement in the 1964 World's Fair. Walt died in 1966, and the Haunted Mansion was the first ride finished without Walt's direct supervision. The ride opened on August 9th, 1969. When the ride posts the 13 minute wait, it's a walk-on. They do this for both the Haunted Mansion and Tower of Terror attractions at Disney Parks. Look at the tombstones and crypt in the ride's queue. There's a pet cemetery which was added in the 1980s to 1993 with humorous epitaphs written on them. There's a crypt filled with the names of those deceased that are puns. There are also tombstones that are tributes to Imagineers who worked on the attraction including Mark Davis, Claude Coates, and Yale Gracie. The stretching room is an actual elevator. The stretching room takes you from the ride's entrance building and foyer down underneath the building. Then, you walk through the changing portrait hallway which takes you under the railroad tracks to the ride's main show building behind the railroad. There's a mirror at the end of the endless hallway to make the hallway look infinite. The candelabra was a last minute addition and is actually quite small to create a forced perspective effect in the hallway. A scrim is in front of the candelabra to make it look more distant than it actually is. The Raven, which was inspired by Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven, makes five appearances on the ride. You can see the Raven in the conservatory, in the Madame Leota scene, in the ballroom, descending into the graveyard, and exiting the graveyard into the hitchhiking ghost crypt. Eleanor Audley, the speaking voice of Madame Leota, was also the voice of Maleficent from Sleeping Beauty, and Lady Tremaine from Cinderella. Leota uses a projected face on top of an animatronic face for its technology. However, the projected face on Madame Leota is actually of Imagineer Leota Toombs, who is Madame Leota's namesake. Toombs is also the projected face of Little Leota. During the Haunted Mansion Holiday Overlay, voice actress Suzanne Blakesley voices Madame Leota. Disney Imagineer Kim Irvine, who is Leota Toombs' daughter, portrays the face of Madame Leota in the holiday version of the ride. The ghosts in the ballroom all use a Pepper's Ghost effect. You overlook the ballroom instead of physically riding through it, and there's plexiglass dividing the doom buggies and the ballroom scenes. That is so that the Pepper's Ghost effect can work properly, by hiding the physical ghost animatronics below while you ride. The actual animatronics are then projected with light through the glass so you can see the ghost version of them. Some of the animatronics, including the ones on the chandelier and flying around, are placed above you, and then projected. The original Hatbox Ghost debuted with the ride in 1969 and was only on the ride for one week. The effect didn't work properly as it was supposed to look like its head vanished and reappeared in his hatbox. Despite not being on the ride for 46 years, the Hatbox Ghost attracted fandom. Finally, in 2015, a new Hatbox Ghost animatronic was brought back to the ride. The lead singing bus with the destroyed head is voiced and portrayed by Thrill Ravenscroft. Thrill also voiced Tony the Tiger and sang, You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch, from When the Grinch Stole Christmas. You can also hear Thrill's voice on the Enchanted Tiki Room in Pirates of the Caribbean. Thank you for watching Volume 1 of my Haunted Mansion trivia videos. If you like this video, please do me a favor. Kindly click that like button, leave a comment, click that subscribe button, and the bell icon. 
I'll see you all a little later. Hurry back to Maxit Kingdom for more Haunted Mansion trivia videos.